HTTP case this time. This is also based on the Android, but powered by Ethereum and Polygon. So this is my book research. So I only work in assets like Bitcoin and all the Oracle which relate to these seven categories. And if you want a deep understanding about my book research, please check out my video about my book research. Then here's my video link. Okay? Then today's matching category of the Matic is number six plus. Then for this update, they're gonna also add a new feature, blockchain OS. So I'm gonna also tell you guys the detail about their blockchain OS project. Okay? Then, as usual, I'm gonna apply the six Alaka points to stand for the pain points, products, team, execution power, token economy, and hype cycle. And for each, so the total score is 30 points, three zero. Then, if you want a deep understanding about my, how I'm gonna analyze each point here, please check out my video about my other point investment strategy. Then, here's my video link. Okay? Then, here are the score updates. So, October 2021, total score for the Matic is 27.0 point. Then, this time, July 2022, total score is 27.5 points. Then my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm gonna potentially recommend investment in Polygon token, Matic, okay? Then this red mark area here, I'm gonna update the total score. Then this red mark area here, there is no score updates, but I have a quick updates for this project. Then from here, I'm gonna tell you the detail, okay? Then let's start here. Number one, pay point analysis. Then I'm gonna replace one pay point to the other new one here, okay? Then pay point number one, there is no change. Layer two technology is on the critical demands for dApps because of the higher gas fee on Ethereum, okay? Then here's new pay points. Pay point number two, we need blockchain OS to realize no platform tax and also the decent price audit on smartphone markets. Then, first of all, these are key questions. Why smartphone mad ads for most of us on Web 3.0? Because current OS markets on existing Web 2.0 world, like internet industry, led by these simplest player, especially iOS and Google, Android, as we know. So we want to achieve the decentralized OS market. Then why smartphone mad ads? It's actually pretty simple. Once look at this graph for the stat counter, global stats here, total market share on a mobile is biggest one on a device market, mobile, desktop, tablet. Here mobile, 59%, biggest market share, and it's still increasing here. That's why we need to focus on mobile. The next one, once look at the inside the smartphone market, only two player, they are the dominant player in this category. Android, 71.45%. iOS, 27.83%. Over 99% are dominated by two OS player. That's why we're gonna discuss about platform tax issue. Because all the time, every single DApps on Space have to pay platform tax for Apple and Google, as we know. Then also audit process, it's pretty much centralized one, led by Apple and Google itself. So we want to realize decentralized audit process. That's a key mission on the blockchain OS, right? So eventually we want to replace them on Web 3.0. That's a key mission for the blockchain OS. Then Polygon finally getting into blockchain OS space. That's what I tell you on the product analysis updates. First of all, overview the Polygon here. So they are the layer one, especially the Ethereum, then layer two. Then DAPS directly uses layer two. The Polygon here. They're gonna use this, you know, public DPS model. Also, they're gonna apply the low up technology. They're gonna minimize the usage of layer one Ethereum. So DAPS player can save a lot of money to run the transaction on Ethereum. 
That's the L2 technology. The Polygon is the number one player here. Okay? Then what about the gas fee on the Polygon? Simply say, it's pretty cheap. These are ranking. Ethereum, largest one. You know, most expensive one here. For Polygon, number two, here. Next is Solana. It's pretty competitive. Then for this time, this is the credit card updates. HTC launches Metaverse Swarm with Ethereum Polygon support. It's great. Then let me give you the you know, detail about this partnership. So here's you know comparison between Central OS and Blockchain OS. Google, Android OS, powered by Google. They also run in the Central Cloud, as we know, it's Google Cloud. HTT case this time. This is also based on the Android, but powered by Ethereum and Polygon on the decentralized cloud. Then this Android itself, here's the key point, it's not the Google Android, because an Android is an open source one. So of course it's a heavy powered by Google, but every single player who wants to use Android, they're gonna download this Android OS, and then they're gonna build the customized version of this OS software. Then HTC, working with Ethereum Polygon, they are planning to build these kind of customized Android OS on the HD font. All right, that's why even they got the Android, this is you know fully decentralized blockchain OS. The ultimate one is you know Samsung too, because Samsung also building their own OS by using Android customized versions. But the their cloud is not decentralized one; it's a centralized one. So this you know powerful uniqueness of this you know decentralized Web 3.0 smartphone. Okay. Then for the reference. These are also, this is the Solana versions, okay? The Solana versions, it's also the same, Android OS, but powered by Solana. So it's again, it's a customized OS model. But the critical difference between HTC model and Solana here, Solana also take their own initiative with the smartphone itself. So this model itself, more like close to iOS model. So, Latest market status for this topic currently, what I'm thinking about is like energy from the you know, web to world. You know, OS platform or Google Cloud and Android, it's competing against Apple iOS. Then Google Android take the horizontal approach. Then Apple iOS, they're gonna take the you know, vertical approach. Like they have their own platform, they also build their own cloud applications. Okay? Then web 3.0. Looks like Ethereum Polygon Union, they were just like you know Google Android model, much more open platform, work with multiple hardware players such as HTC. Okay, then Solana, they gotta also looks like they're taking vertical product approach, kind of interesting one. But it's you know contains to pay attention to the next move from here. Okay, then one more additional item what I want to mention here is hidden network because to realize fully decentralized web 3.0 smartphones, we need hidden hotspot because they already have hotspot network here, many in US and Europe. So to realize web 3.0 smartphones, my big expectation for Polygon Z and ACC, you know, metaverse smartphone here is this one, Matic is POS mining plus HMT mining on Polygon Mobile. The reason is, Hidden Network provide SIM card, eSIM card for the smartphone. Once you're gonna put your, this Hidden Network eSIM card into ACC smartphone here, you can also access the internet through this phone. Then that network itself is fully decentralized by Hidden Network. So it's a great combination. Okay. Then number three, team analysis. So about team analysis, still finding member here, it's pretty active, this is great. Then this time, new great hiring here, Ryan Watt, CEO of the Polygon Studio. It's kind of game, you know, ecosystem development studio for the Polygon ecosystem. Then he's an ex-senior managing director, global head of gaming at the YouTube. So it's a perfect guy. Then he's also currently advisor for the Breed Data, right? Then plus 400, 50 members, many in India and the US. So it's rapidly growing up. Then especially, I'm gonna pretty much make expectation for this hiring here. 
to scaling up the NFT game ecosystem on Polygon. Then also, I'm gonna pay attention to market initiative on India by Polygon because you know currently for the mass adaptations for the crypto space, actually India number is the biggest one, over 100 million, even bigger than USA. That's why still the Polygon has a pretty big potential to market initiative in India. Then number four, execution plan analysis. So here's you know regular key stats item. First of all, major mass active stats. Polygon number six, TVL size is 1.84 billion. It's a bear trend, so stats are going up. But you know, next to Solana, it's a great traction. About six stats. Actually, it's a little bit lower. So Solana is number two, and Polygon is number 11. Then their stake ratio is around 32%. But the Thrana already hit the 35%. So that would be the one of the issue that the party will have to solve it in long term. But the thing about you know what are the strengths on the polygon here? Rider finance already risked polygon here. Number is not quite big enough yet, but you know, as we know, the Rido had the biggest player on the liquid staking market. That also accelerate. Higher staking ratio on the Polygon in long term, you know, it's a great advantage for them too. Because look at the Rhino TVL size, 4.58 billion. Second player, around 27.5 billion. Much bigger number here. That's why, you know, Rhino listing is a great advantage for the Polygon. Okay. Now from here, about an NFT. Actually, Polygon is not quite strong enough yet for the NFT. Here. Number nine, Ethereum, number one, Solana, number two. So it's a pretty big difference here. Then, next one, NFT Marketplace. The key points, what I want to pay attention to, Magic Eden, currently number one NFT Marketplace in the entire blockchain ecosystem. Then they're running on Solana. As I told you previous slide, Solana, they're gonna take the back of strategy. So Magic Eden, just like a DAP store, it's a back of strategy model. The OpenSea, currently the only player run the NFT business on Polygon. So in long term, they have to attract these players into Polygon too. Okay. Then about game. So Axie Infinity, still a powerful player. Polygon also some of the you know, game title has a certain level of traction here, such as the number nine, you know, S5 the gaming stuff too, but still not a powerful yet. So that's a big issue for them at this moment. The social, they have a great advantage because they have Lent Protocol run by RBT, currently number eight. I have a pretty big expectation for this project. Okay. Then number five, token economy analysis. So token economy design metrics. So the major matching categories for them is bus, blockchain OS here. Then for this time, I'm gonna bring the new never perfect model on the soul with magic edit because it's also the great reference for the polygon. So Start by this one, NFT and game growth on a Magic Eden, it's kind of portal for them, for the Thrana ecosystem. So active user traffic is going up, gas demand goes up, so validator and delegator growth on DPoS on Solana is also goes up. Then that also brings the better customer experiences, especially with the Magic Eden growth. Then that one also help us to build this one, DPoS on Solana Mobile, all right? Then more so cycle with the Solana Mobile, the less so set inflation on exchange, so better customer experiences. Connected with the Tuana and one plus mobile OS growth. So the Polygon, Ethereum, Union, you know, smartphone business stuff, they have to build these kind of like, you know, network effect model too. But the, their, you know, smart model is a cloud structure model. Then, you know, Ethereum model is more of a horizontal model. That's a big difference, okay? Then the other item also pay attention to here, differential assets. Because here, recession with the higher inflation risk, that is why a lot of investors are looking for differential assets to protect their money. So again, this is the background. Because currently we are in a pretty strong inflation risk moment. Then one of the first player also had a huge success with differential assets, Ethereum, because they already integrated EIP 1559. Then they got to achieve differential economy assets here, okay? Then once you get the entire L1 and L2 market landscape, few players still apply EIP-159 model or similar solutions. 
Then Matic, last time when I analyzed this project, they have not implemented EIP 1559 model yet, but this time here, they already applied. It's great progress, amazing. So benchmark analysis, this time here, Matic, 4.2 billion, Flana, 12 billion, Ethereum, 140 million. So no big new finding here, okay? Then about governance now, it's a very active one, it's great. Then number six, time cycle analysis. So, got time cycle analysis, blockchain integrated juice and 20 versions, and a major matching category for them is standing for the blockchain pros, blockchain platform, DeFi, layer two, NFT, decentralized web, and decentralized applications. But especially NFT, that would be a highest priority right now, okay? Then of course, about metaverse, they also get the pretty market stronger momentum. You know, the hype cycle does not apply this topic yet, but that point of win, it's also a great advantage for the Polygon. Then to maximize this prop win, of course they have to focus on NFT, okay? And then finally, the total scope dates. So, about pain points, products, team, execution power, no change. Then token economy, I'm gonna upgrade from 4.0 to 4.5. The reason is EIP 1559. That's a pretty big update for the program because as I told you many times, deflationary assets has a kind of key growth driver for the crypto assets tend to be risk assets to attract much more money from institutional investor, also many retail investor in an entire financial system on a global basis. All right, so from this perspective, Matic, we're gonna take a pretty strong market advantage here. That is why I said the 4.5 here, okay? Then about half cycle, no change. So the total score is 27.5 points. So my mineral investment credit is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm gonna produce a recommended investment in Polygon token, Matic, okay? Then if you're interested, much more detailed information about my profile locations and also my real time, buying and selling action for every single crypto assets, including ICO, ID or DeFi, Please think about to join my premium membership program, real time, buy and selling signal. The major purpose of this membership program is to help you reach your crypto asset performance to my level here. The formal detail, please check out the video. Then here's my video link. Okay? Alright, so that's all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for the educational purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of certain level investment outcome with this video or next video that I make, but I truly hope that my video will probably help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and virtual space. So I'm going to make a lot of in this video crypto about this space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.